Hello and welcome to Stoppage Time, the football podcast. We're going to be giving you all the sport news from the last few days. I'm Callum Smith and this is Josh Potts. Hello all. So then, um, let's get started, come on. Okay, what do you want to talk about first? Um, Liverpool game? Yeah, Liverpool-Chelsea. 1-1. One, one. That was a good, good game, do you think? I mean, what a free kick from David Luiz. Oh, I David think that, that was the highlight, really, wasn't it? Let's certainly it. was. And yeah. I think Mignolet, you yeah. know, he, he could have done better. He could have done better. He, like, he, he wasn't even concentrating. No, was he was he? setting up the wall. He was just sort of talking. And then David Luiz. You can't blame his defenders for that. I mean, David Luiz, stunning set pieces from a defender as well. Chelsea are now beaten in five visits at Anfield. And all of Wijnaldum's PL goals, Premier League goals, they've... All come at home. I think it was sort of similar stat in Newcastle, wasn't it? He used to score at home, no? Yeah, I, I remember he scored four against Norwich, that, that famous it's 6-2 six two. win. But um, yeah, Chelsea are running away with the Premier League. No one can stop them. And They've, won, title, it. They've yeah, won it. Yeah. We can say, categorically, on this podcast, Chelsea have won the Premier League. <laughs> they don't win it now when it will be a slip-up. And um, Manchester City, well, one new signing was definitely on the... On the headlines, wasn't he? Was it at 4 0? And he scored two. Gabriel he- Jesus. Yeah, I think that's how you say his name. Yeah, it's, very good. He is a Brazilian wonder kid, and maybe it's too early to compare him with Neymar, but he reminds me a lot of Neymar already. And I think Man City have got such a player already. In their front three, Sane, mm. Gabriel Jesus, and Sterling, mm. a lot of pace, a lot of young talent. Sterling's proved a lot of people wrong this year. I, I like Sterling. I think I he's been very good. He has, and I think Pep Guardiola, Guardiola is a perfect manager for him. I think Manchester City could go to the final of the Champions League this year. Do you think it's possible? They've been to the. Oh, they obviously were in the semi final last year and they sadly they could, lost good to enough. Real Madrid 1 0. But they are good enough, and they've got a manager who's won the Champions <laughs> League. Pep Guardiola. Times. Lincoln versus Brighton. Lincoln City are through to the fifth round. Brilliant. And they're only a couple of games from Wembley. It's it's incredible. It really and, is. And um, I know some people up from Lincoln, so and they're loving it. So the imps, yeah, are doing the impossible. With the whole China transfer situation, what do you think about that? I mean, they've they've definitely been a talking point, haven't they? For the last couple of years, yeah. The the names that have gone over to China for the dollar dollar, it's Hulk, Hulk, Ramirez, Jackson Martinez, yeah. Demba, who we did, you know, they they all went. Recently, early to yeah. China, so the players now, you know, Oscar, Pimel's rumours in the transfer window just been Costa, Costa to, to move to China for mm. five hundred seventy six thousand pound per week. Tevez, he's moved for a yeah, huge amount of money, one pound per second, but isn't it? Yeah, I think that's that's more reasonable in some senses because obviously Tevez is coming in ends of his career. Still dangerous. Still dangerous. Yeah, still dangerous. And he will tear it up in the Chinese league. Yeah. Just so I've like seen a couple um, games. Pella, and the quali- just like Pella is. Yeah, I've seen the quality. It's not very good. Well, some of the Chinese government completely disagree with this. Um, with the general, general admin of sport in China. Yeah. Uh, as said in the last few weeks, a cap on players' salaries and transfer fees will be established to control irrational investment. I think that's got to be the case because you can't be spending this amount of money on, on mm. players. I know China is such a rich country, but... This can't continue for the next 10 years. Yeah, so um, yeah, we went to go to, onto the streets of Norwich and we got some opinions of um, what the Chinese transfers or what China have been like in the transfer window. What do you think about Chinese football teams offering a huge amount of money to players such as Wayne Rooney? Um, I think they're a bit overpaid. You can't get your head around it as a fan, you know, you just can't get your head around it and sort of think uh, it, it's got to end somewhere. But then we've been saying that ever since the Premier League was invented. Good luck to him if I could get that match, I would. I think there's any right in football to really spend that amount of money on anyone. Welcome back, it's now Social Media Corner. So uh, before we get onto the tweets and the Facebooks of the last week, uh, just to say our Twitter is at Stoppage Time, our Facebook t- uh, page is Stoppage Time. Be sure to send in questions for next week's show because we will be answering that. So yeah, be sure to tweet and uh, message us. So firstly on Twitter, at IJ Enslin. What a weekend I had. Lincoln getting through to the fifth round, beating High Flyers Brighton. And also Norwich beating Birmingham. Come on, you imps. Uh, at Ben Dinnery has also come in uh, saying, another season without a league title, not good enough. Hashtag Ben Grell. At Craigie Bratt, what an amazing weekend of cup football. Shows why the FA Cup is still magical. Hashtag FA Cup. Hashtag Cup Set, which Brilliant. I love. Cup Set. Brilliant. Yes. 
for Facebook now. Uh, Alex Burns says Sunset second choice keeper is 45. Wayne Sean, have yeah. you seen him? I've seen him indeed. He's eating pies and drinking food. Pints at half time. <laughs> at half time. And apparently, allegedly, it's not for lawyers this, but he punched someone in the stands at last season at half time. Uh, t- Tim Noons, sadly he's a Sunderland fan. Uh, he just he's not very happy. Poor man. Players and managers aren't even good enough. Championship, here we come. It's yeah. all doom and gloom, isn't it? Doom and gloom for them. Well, thank you for all your comments via the social media corner. Thank you. Keep... Keep bringing them in. And thanks for listening. Goodbye. Goodbye.